This is what Leanne looks like this morning. Day four, ready to go. Is your bag heavy or light today, baby? It's a little bit lighter. So today we begin day four of our five day survival. If you saw our previous episode, for the past three days, we've hiked roughly about 20 kilometers. Is everyone ready? No. This is incredible. Oh my word. This is the water that comes out of the taps. Have you ever seen this white otter? You're like, <laughs> this is what South Africa can give you. And all that we have on our back is the food and the items that we need. And we are only provided with a mattress. Shotgun top bunk. So on today, which is day four, we're going to be hiking about 14 kilometers. And we're going to be crossing the Blokrans River. Now this is not going to be easy because we need to be there before high tide and it's about 10 kilometers away so we hope to make it there in low tide and not have to swim across especially with the bags on our back just be careful here sweetie i will be careful i am one for everest documentaries and i'm feeling now like i'm climbing everest <laughs> although i'm climbing only the most beautiful parts in south africa which is amazing wow this is so beautiful Although it's an early start, we get to see the sunrise. The sun is rising, how beautiful is that? That's where we stayed last night, right at the bottom there. Wow. Well, can I get your hand or something? Yeah, 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 use my shoulder. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, my legs are so weak, I can't even like push myself up anymore. This is our last choice. Either there or that way. 14 kilometers, Blokrans River crossing. Woo. It's gonna to be tough today. I never used to be a morning person, but just waking up early to these views is wonderful. As expected on day four, our bodies are really, really tired. So I think it's a mental challenge just as much of a physical challenge. This morning I'm feeling all right. I think it's because we had a good rest last night, but my shoulders are a little bit sore and my knees are sore, but we're just going to push through. One kilometer in, my knee is in excruciating pain. We're taking our layers off, because it's getting hot. Oh, much better. So I actually have some Voltaren here, which Perea has lent me, which is apparently Dieter's. <laughs> to put on my leg. I don't know if this is going to work, I'm not really a runner or a hiker, but I hope it does something. Is this going to work? I don't know, I used it yesterday, it did nothing. It did nothing, hey? Oh my gosh. I have no idea how to strap a knee, and I wish I did, but we'll do this. Oh. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's heavy. Oh, and I got this bag with all our snacks in. Last few pushes, sweetie. Oh gosh. Are you ready? Ready. Ready? Ready. Aquaman, ready? I was born ready. Danny, are you ready? Half off. Okay, ready? No. <laughs> How about now? <laughs> no. No. Ready. Let's go! Check here. We're actually finding quite a bit of some poo on the trail and that is from the baboons. So we actually had security at our hut last night to make sure that no baboons were coming and we didn't encounter any. Oh, he has more. Let's see, check. Here we have more and there is more. It's literally all over the trail. So I'm hoping we don't encounter any on this walk. Wonder where those baboons are. Don't hear them. We'll generally hear them when they're close by. This morning we we're only five out of seven hikers. Two of our friends left a little bit earlier. So we're probably going to see them along the trail. But maybe they're walking really fast and we're never going to see them.
Every single turn is beautiful, hey? Yeah, every single one. Just so much to see and so much to look at, but we've also got a time constraint. <laughs> Yo, what? Is this our river crossing? It's only just that easy. <laughs> one moment, we're right on top of the mountain looking down at the ocean, the next moment, you're at sea level. So this over here is called the Wittelsliffi. It's mentioned there we're currently at the 3.6 kilometer mark, so we still have like 6.4 k still blow plants. So it's taken us two and a half hours to get to this point, and we're currently a third of the way. So it'll be another four hours till we reach the Blokrans River. And if our calculations are right, we should arrive there at about quarter past 11. So we should arrive there at low tide and hopefully be able to cross that river easily. But we kind of just need to keep pushing this pace and carry on until the river and after that then we can slow it down a little bit. The reason we're so worried about blow crowns and it's been one of the rivers we've been worried about since the start of this otter trail is because if we miss low tide that means we're gonna have to wait another six hours until we get another low tide. Some people have gotten there, miss it completely and then have to like hike through the dark and I don't think that's going to be fun so we really had to wake up early in order to make sure that we can arrive there right before low tide so that as we cross we at its lowest point but we are slightly worried that we might have some of the timetables wrong as every single timetable is showing different times of when the tide is going to be at its lowest Baby! <laughs> it's so slippery! How's it okay, okay. I don't know how I'm going to get up! Ooh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on finger. Did you cut your finger? Hold on This bag's so heavy as soon as you slip it like, oh, pulls you all the way down. <laughs> I'm okay. Let's Let me see go. your finger. It's just a little cut. I'm oh, alright. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> Great, Fred, but watch your step now. Okay, yeah, these rocks are slippery. Uh, 10 to 8. You guys want a snack something here? Or? Yeah, let's, yeah have let's have a snack here. Thank you. Beet Berry Blast. Sounds good. Get some more energy for the day. Not so much breakfast as we had oats this morning. So this is more like a little snack. Mm. But this is what we've been having for breakfast every single day. Oats. More boiling oats. it. <laughs> <laughs> and more oats. <laughs> we do have some jelly tots as well. We have an entire bag for the snacks. We even have some cashew nuts for some long lasting energy. Otherwise, all the sweets. We're basically just going to give us a sugar high and then we're going to break down. We lost our biltong on day three, so Linza gave us this little stack. Donkey Linza! <laughs> oh my god, there's an otter! Oh yes! We saw an otter! Give me a five! <laughs> Woo! I don't know if I showed that on the camera because I was jiggling it so much, but we just saw an otter on the otter trail! There it is right there. Like, so cool! We'll try and see as we go out there if we can maybe get a better view of it that side. Come this side to see if we can see the otter. But it doesn't seem like we can find him. So I think the Blokrans River is right around that corner. So we've all got we've got all these little hills to still climb. Oh! <laughs> what are you doing? I'm a wolf! <laughs> You've lost your mind. I'm losing my marbles today. Scaling rocks over here. Yeah. Oh, you're gonna have to crawl here, baby. There we go. Ooh, the struggle is real. So, check out how high this step is. Yeah. Literally, look, look where it is. Here's the step. And look where it is to the end, her shoulder. Yeah, give me your hand. Thank you. Sure, you really need to do squats for this trail. Look what we've come through. Yeah. All the way down there through those boulders. And we've been walking across that coastline there. It's beautiful, but it's tough. We're still continuing to walk. And our path is along this. This is what you're encountering right now. This is the Otter Trail. 
they said this was a moderate hike which it is but it's challenging at times Korea has a sore ankle <laughs> and a sore calf yeah this is not a moderate trip oh gosh <laughs> particularly and is all the way up there Whew. okay let's go Ooh. Ooh. I don't even know where to grab. Yo. Oh. Wow. But the view's worth it. Jeez. We literally are climbing over these mountains. Sometimes we're on those edges and then sometimes we climb up like now. It's absolutely crazy. Poria, Poria, Poria. Two hours until low tide and we're three kilometers away so we should be there in time if we read the tables right. It's absolutely gorgeous up here. I think we've said that a million times but it's the truth. South Africa is definitely treating us with views. Well there's a whale right here. There he is. Wow. wow. There he is. And we've got us a whale. Just behind me is Blow Plant, which is the biggest river crossing we have to do here on the Otter Trail. So the nerves are really settling in. We're hoping that we've timed this well so that there's low tide and we can cross it without having to swim. It's in sight. Look at that. That's what we need to cross. Right over there, all those waves. We're going to have to cross till there. When researching this thing, everybody is like, blow crans, blow crans, blow crans. Looking at that river from here, I think we might need to use our survival bags. Here we have Linda in the water ready. He ran in front of us. Looks like he's on a beach. Watch there. Oh. And we're going to have to carry our bags through that. That does not look easy. Ooh. Are we ready for this? I'm not so sure. Are you ready for this? I'm hoping that the water pulls back a bit. And gets a little bit shallower. But I guess we have to just deal with what's given to us. And take it from there. One step at a time. So this board is indicating where we should cross and because we're going to be crossing it at low tide we're going to be following this green one and this line indicates of how high the water is going to be for us so i would say just below my hip he has an escape route so that if the blow crunch is like too rough or dangerous or there's a flood or anything like that then you're going to have to use this escape route and then come back down on the other side do you want to take it no let's try it let's do it baby this is what we've been waiting for. It has been the long awaited long event awaited. of the Otter Trail. Yeah, the most frightening part we've all been like scared of. But it's here and we're gonna do it. Hey, what's the deal? Hi, Dieter! Nice to see you. How was your walk this morning? Lekker. Yeah. Lekker. So, Craig. Nice to see you. Leanne's going to be surprised when she sees this view. I'm not looking, I'm not looking, tell me when I can look. I'll tell you when you can look. I'm not looking, I'm hiding it with my cap. Okay, look. Oh, wow. Sure. This is stunning. The river like meanders between these mountains. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, my legs are so sore. 
I can't run, it feels weird. This is how we're spending our time right before going over the Blokrans River. In Through, the Blokrans River. In the Blokrans River. <laughs> Where the water's dried up. This is absolutely insane. It's really so stunning. It doesn't feel like we're in South Africa. No, I feel like I'm in a different country right now. It really does feel like that. There's this so is, much beauty here that I really didn't know about. It's probably the most beautiful part of South Africa I've seen. And we've still got another whole two month road trip after this around SA. And I think we've got so much more things to see. But first we have to make it through the end of the Arter Trail. <sighs> yeah, still got one more day tomorrow as well and another four kilometer hike after the crossing of Blokrans. So there is the best route to go, but we can only go there when it's low tide. And then up here there's ropes over there, so that's <laughs> the B route. And then the C route is up there when the tide is really high. I have a survival bag over here, which is a super dry bag in order to cover my own bag with, so that we don't get wet. Dieter. This is super tough. Well, that's it. Check how big this is. We got our survival bags. Oh my gosh, this thing's as big as I am. These bags are pretty heavy to carry. They say you don't need to put it in this if it's low tide, but because we got electronics in here, we're not taking the risk. And I also don't want my clothes to get wet. And I'm not strong enough to hold this the whole way. So at some stage it's gonna have to float it. So we gotta make it through those waves there to the other side. This is so tough. This bag is so, so heavy. Ooh. And the tide is coming in. This is not. bags up to the top Whew, this is difficult we haven't come to the route that we want to go to because the tide looks quite rough there so we're just gonna climb up here but check we're supposed to be swimming through there to get to the easiest points and this is low tide <laughs> that was heavy my back is so sore now Anna, your bag's lighter. Uh, oh, yes, who does this? So light. No, 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 this bag's lighter. Yo, this one as well. Teamwork. Oh, that was so tough. Okay. Luckily, we had so many people to help us, otherwise. Oh, shame, you are soaking wet. Yeah. <laughs> but it's lacquer. Holy. <laughs> Are you. Oh. We just came out of the river there. And now look what we've got to climb. Wow. This is getting tougher. Yeah. I don't like heights, especially heights where I can fall off of it. And with a backpack that like throws your weight around. Whew. <laughs> the Arter Trail is not, not for people without endurance. <laughs> Hold the rope completely, baby. There we go. There we go. Oh, there's no 
grip. There we go. This is not easy. I'm sorry. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Just keep holding onto the rocks. Yeah, I'm just trying to control my legs as well because they're like just it looks like a while, hey? Like about 80 meters. Bro, I promise you, dude, look where they are up there. Still climbing? Yeah. Okay, come on. You did it. <laughs> We're just dangling on a cliff, just dangling on a cliff, dangling on a cliff, just dangling on a cliff, Woo. dangling on a cliff, Woo. dangling on a cliff. Woo. <laughs> That was hectic. <laughs> that was worse than the crossing for me. Today feels like an incredibly long day. We've been hiking for 10 hours since we left camp this morning. Whew. And we think we've got another two kilometers to go and then we should be done. So hopefully we can finish this within the next hour or so. FYI, right after the walks on the beach, there's one hell of a mountain to climb afterwards. Probably the second worst climb of this entire Otter Trail. That took us about 45 minutes to climb. After hiking for almost 12 hours, we have finally reached the final camp of the Otter Trail. Woo! We are absolutely exhausted. I think exhausted is an understatement, but we are so happy to be here. So to show you our little cabin, it looks exactly like the other cabins. You can see behind me, if we go inside, they have the beds over here and to the side, they also have some beds. And then over here, they have like a little workstation. But oh my goodness, this view just makes it so i think we're just gonna sit and relax make some food and just chill and enjoy the last evening here on the otter trail if you're wondering what our food situation is like you can go and check out our previous video where we show you exactly what we've eaten for breakfast lunch and dinner as well as what we've packed in our bags but tomorrow is the last and final stretch of the otter trail where we have another 10 k's to go i don't know how we're gonna do the next Oh, 10 k's tomorrow. But I think we're gonna do it. Somehow. So there has been a mention that this toilet has a view. So I'm gonna check. This is the toilet that I have. And if I sit on it, oh my gosh. <laughs> Literally has a view. That is so cool. You just hope that nobody comes this side and sees you taking a number two. <laughs> And today is day five of the hike. Get one last look at this really good view. And to the right, we actually need to hike up this mountain here to get to that viewpoint. So let's make like a tree and leave. <laughs> 